February 27, 2022, the anniversary of the Pokémon franchise, brought with it news of the upcoming Pokémon Scarlet and Violet. This ninth generation of Pokémon is sure to bring many amazing new characters to the franchise along with the familiar faces. However, some of those familiar faces are in desperate need of help. Many beloved Pokémon from the previous games in the franchise have fallen by the wayside, aging into irrelevance after decades of updates and innovations. However, the series has a history of buffing and nerfing various Pokémon throughout its iterations, and this generation should be no different. Drapion Drapion is a poison, dark scorpion with decent bulk and a fairly average attack stat. It's best known as Sinnoh Elite 4 member Aaron's signature Pokémon. Drapion has passable stats and a move pool that isn't terrible, but such a cool Pokémon is often outclassed by other poison types in competitive play, and it's hard to justify the late level 40 evolution point for Scorpion game. The Pokémon's major point of mediocrity is its three terrible abilities, of which Battle Armor is the best. A new ability for Drapion that focuses on offense would be the perfect buff. Marowak, a favorite from the very first Pokémon games, Marowak has a sad story behind it and even sadder gameplay, being almost completely outclassed by its Alolan counterpart. Being a monotype Pokémon doesn't do Marowak many favors, and there isn't much separating Marowak from other better ground types. With such mediocre bulk and so many weaknesses, Marowak's awful speed sometimes makes it so it can only get one or less attacks in before fainting. A secondary typing, HP buff, and ability like Technician would abuse Marowak's signature bone ring and increase its survivability. Drifblim Drifblim is a ghost, flying type with a titanic HP stat, and sadly very poor defensive stats to go with it. In Pokémon Masters, it is used in a sync pair with Gym Leader Morty. Drifblim actually has a fantastic ability in Unburden but it doesn't have a viable way to abuse the ability. Access to Nasty Plot and a bit of extra defensive stats could help Drifblim become the special version of the infamous physical unburdened sweeper in Halacha. Drifblim has almost all the tools it needs to succeed as a sweeper, but Nasty Plot is almost mandatory to make it strong. Cramorant Cramorant is one of the goofiest-looking Pokémon in the series, and its ability Gulp Missile is certainly a unique one, if a bit perplexing. Gulp Missile relies on Cramorant being hit after using Surf or Dive. However, the effect of Gulp Missile lowers defense and Surf is a special attacking move. Additionally, Cramorant has truly terrible defenses for a fully evolved Pokémon, meaning he often goes down before he's able to use Gulp Missile to the fullest. Gulp Missile's Gulp form lowering special defense as well and an increase in bulk would help Cramorant shine. Clinklang Clinklang is one of the signature Pokémon of Calrus, one of the best villains in Pokémon. Clinklang is unfortunately cursed with three poor abilities. Shift Gear and Gear Grind are both great moves, and Clinklang's stats aren't great but they can be worked around. Clear Body being its only real usable ability is the true curse of the Gear Pokémon. Replacing Clear Body with an ability like Levitate would help Clinkling become a viable sweeper by giving it another immunity and taking away a type it's weak to. Technician and Adaptability would also work, helping Gear Grind hit harder. Boltund, one of the cutest fully evolved Pokémon in the games, Boltund is a fan favorite with one great ability in Strongjaw, but underwhelming typing and stats. A secondary normal typing would make sense for Boltund, and give it a fantastic immunity in Ghost. Fairy or Psychic could also hit the mark as added typings and give Boltund stab play rough or Psychic fangs. Most of all, Bolton would appreciate a boost to its attack to truly make it a viable glass cannon, and access to Ice Fang to truly make use of its saving grace strong jaw. Palosend Palosend is a ghost, ground type with average stats and two fairly mediocre abilities in water compaction, and Sand Veil. It specializes in tankiness. Palosend's ability, Water Compaction, is a much worse version of Colossal's Steam Engine, which can raise its speed six stages and makes Colossal a menace in double Pokémon battles. Meanwhile, Palosend merely gets boosted defense against a type that's primarily special anyway. Water Compaction should instead function like Water Absorb or Lightning Rod and give the Sandcastle a water immunity in addition to the defense boost. Dunsparce. Dunsparce is a surprisingly beloved Pokémon, mostly due to how goofy it looks. Serene Grace is the only saving grace of Dunsparce, who has abysmal stats all around for a fully evolved Pokémon. Players have been asking for an evolution for Dunsparce for ages, which would certainly make the Pokémon better thanks to Eviolite. However, Dunsparce's best bet would be a big bump to speed to truly allow it to make use of its pair of flinch combo with Glare 
and headbutt. Unfortunately, Dunsparce would need a lot of help in all of its other stats as well to ever become a truly viable Pokémon. Luxray Luxray is the signature Pokémon of Gym Leader Valkner, and the two make an iconic trainer, Pokémon pair. It has a strong attack stat, a great ability in guts, and sadly not much else. Luxray is cursed with a terrible speed stat and a bad typing in Mono Electric. For a hyper-offensive Pokémon like Luxray, being slow is the ultimate curse. Its mediocre defenses can be forgivable if Luxray's speed receives a buff. A secondary dark typing would also be on theme for the Pokémon, give it a great immunity to Psychic, and give it a hard-hitting stab crunch. Absol Absol has one of the coolest designs in the series, a sky-high attack stat, and a fantastic move pool. However, it never gets to use any of them because of its awful speed. Almost all of Absol's issues revolve around the combination of mediocre bulk and low speed. It also doesn't have ability options that truly abuse its attack. Buffs that would make Absol a true threat include a powerful yet thematic ability and a boost to speed. Unburden or speed boost could fulfill both problems at once and would make Absol truly as powerful as he looks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.